From the weavers of exquisite Banarsi saris to the makers of intricate cane furniture to embroiderers of chicken curry and zardozi to leather, wood, glassware, gold, silver, artisans. India abounds in creativity, skill, and beauty. Tuberoses, sandalwood, vinegar. That's your world, really, that's your world. And I shall thank you because for the past 25 years, this raw material I basically, what I live with every single day of my life. Thank you, India, for everything. Create great brands and spend our energies creating them, we actually are empowering those artisans, those crafts, which are dying around us. So I think it's in our minds. We have to divest ourselves of this old socialistic thinking that luxury and India do not match. In fact, they must. In fact, we should now recognize that it is a time to lift our great crafts and traditions and offer them to the world and let the world uh, appreciate them for what they really are. And in Talk about the fashion industry. It's a very young industry. We are only 25 years old. So there's too much pressure to expect a, a brand overnight. Uh, but there's a huge difference from when I began to today. You know, the, the customer's uh, vision is different. We are looking at a different uh, product and, and the customer has matured for sure. And when we talk about luxury, which I think is a right of India, because we are true luxury. India, I don't think there's any other country that understands luxury and lives luxury like India does. So for me, I think we should understand the theory of luxury very simply and very easily. And we should be able to do what the world would look up to and, uh, and uh, savor. And I think there's huge potential and we are on our way.